Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna talk about choosing an LED wall panel. We've got one here in front of us. Uh, it's a 2.97 millimeter pitch panel from Gamma LED Vision that we like a lot. But when we come to choose a panel, we don't just look at one brand, we look at everything and, and ultimately we wanna recommend what's the best for you. But in this video, I wanna talk about like just the panel themselves. What do you need to consider when you're thinking about buying a panel. Now this is gonna be somewhat overkill because ultimately, uh, wherever you're buying them from should be taking care of a lot of these details, making sure you're getting a quality piece. But not everybody does that. And unfortunately, we see people who buy walls and then either right away or a few years later are really frustrated with their decision. And we wanna make sure that that never happens to anyone that gets it through Learn Stage Lighting Gear. First things first, you're gonna have a processor, okay? Um, we recommend uh, going with a processor brand that's proven and well-known, okay? Uh, we often are doing Novastar processors. There's also Brompton, and there's also Colorlight is another good brand. Uh, we, we try to stray, stray away from everyone else uh, because unfortunately, there's a lot of issues with those other brands. Uh, when it comes to your processor, your processor is matched to your panel. And in particular, in the back of your panel, there's a receiving card. I'm gonna grab one right here, new inbox, that connects via Cat5 to your processor and then feeds out the individual modules, that's these guys, that make up a panel, okay? So you've got uh, a sending card from Novastar, you've got a receiving card. There are different qualities of receiving cards, so you gotta make sure that what you get is gonna have the refresh rate you want. It's going to have um, also the color depth that you need. For live production, we often say that the Novastar uh, A5, A5S is kind of the benchmark uh, that you want at a minimum, okay? For a lot of places, that's great. If you go higher, you start to get advanced features like being able to turn one tile within the receiving card, which most people aren't going to use, okay? Um, there are vendors out there who are selling Novastar walls with lower quality cards, and at the end of the day, that means that you get less color depth, less quality, uh, less refresh rate, and it's gonna look worse on camera, it's gonna look worse in person, and it might be less reliable. So you wanna watch out for that, okay? Um, power supply, let's talk about power. So every LED wall is gonna have a power supply in it, okay? Like this one, here's, here's a spare one for this wall. Uh, th those are easy to get later if you ever need one, um, but anybody reputable should spend, send you a spare parts kit. Now the power supplies on LED walls are actually in the back here, and they're typically behind a door. Uh, different ones work different ways, whether you pull this whole deal off or just open it up. Um, but you open it up here, and now inside, you've got your power supply. Hopefully you can see that uh, on one of the cameras. You've got your receiving card. Everything's all hooked up. So any of this stuff can be changed out at any time. Now, in terms of power supply, in terms of the electronics, you want to make sure if you're buying a panel that it's going to be safe electrically. Okay, so we recommend always buy a panel that's ETL listed. Uh, CE is not good enough. Uh, pretty much any manufacturer can get a CE listing and there's no checkup. But ETL, there is a checkup on that manufacturer from time to time to make sure what they're building actually meets the spec they designed it to and got that safety certification on. So it sounds silly, but you know, you have to make sure they're actually making the stuff right because, well, factories are known to make shortcuts. And that's why we like to buy from established vendors in the US, established companies, that do that homework, that do that quality checking, that make sure it's gonna be right. Uh, other features to be aware of. A lot of panels these days come with corner protectors. Uh, they help you going in and out of the case from bashing up the corners. Honestly, if you're not setting up or tearing down, whatever, it's fine if it has them, it's fine if it doesn't. Um, even if you do set up and tear down, like you still gotta be careful with the panels. So if sometimes people use the fact that it has corner protectors as an excuse to be rougher, not a good idea, okay? Um, and so that's also really important to know as well. Uh, you wanna know 
when you're buying an LED wall and you're buying panels, is this for permanent installation or portable? Some panels are not warranted for permanent installation. Whether you go permanent or portable, we do recommend shutting the panels off when you're not using them. Uh, you know, people, different people have different thoughts on that, but we like to shut them off unless you literally use them a lot. Um, but if it's something like a church or an event space, gets used a few days a week, the rest of the week it's dark, shut them off. Okay. Um, and last but not least, uh, you want to think about the packaging. Okay. So like I'm, I'm talking in my notes here, you know, hey, do you get spare parts? You should. Are cables included? Uh, in the price, cables are not always included. When you go through learning stage lighting gear, we make sure to add them if they're not included automatically. Okay, spare parts, they should be included or purchasable. And you need to get them at the time of purchase so your LEDs are from the same batch as the screen so that when you do replace a module, they're, they're matching or close to matching as can be. All right, um, other features you might be aware of is uh, some of these walls, most walls can do straight. Any wall can do straight. Uh, some walls can curve, uh, either concave or convex. And if that's important to you, make sure you get a wall that has those features. If it's not, then you can take it or leave it. Awesome. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about LED panels and what to look for when you're purchasing one. Uh, whether you buy it from us at Learn Stage Leading Gear or someone else, my biggest wish and hope for you is that you get something that isn't overpriced, but is good quality that's going to last you for the long term. An LED wall is an investment, and we're here to help you to demystify all of this, look across all the brands, and make sure you get the right wall for your needs. If that resonates with you, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We would love to help you. Just use our LED wall calculator or contact us for a quote, and we'd be glad to help. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.